Hi there, just a quick video today to show where a speed limit can change without a speed limit sign. Because normally if the speed limit changes, there's normally a sign to tell you. Um, but this is an example where there's not a sign. So what we've got here is a dual carriageway. I know it's got three lanes, this one here, this one here, and this one here. But it's not a motorway. Some people think a motorway is a road of three lanes. This is incorrect. A motorway often does have three lanes. But a dual carriageway can have three lanes as well. How we identify this as a dual carriageway is the fact that there's this central reservation, this barrier in the middle, separating the lanes going this way from the lanes going this way. So this is what they mean by dual. There's two separate bits of tarmac, this bit here and this bit here. That's what we mean by dual. Also, we can look at the road signs. They're in green, so green is normally on a dual carriageway. Also, look at the road number. It's the A23. If this was a motorway, this would be probably the M23, and these signs would be in blue. So, with that being said, um, this road has a speed limit um, of 70 miles an hour. It's a national speed limit road. And if we come down here, and we stay in this left lane, which will take us off the dual carriageway. And then we've got a roundabout coming up. And you'll notice there's no road signs, there's no speed limit changes. But the speed limit is going to change. So we've then got the roundabout here. So normally we'd expect to see our speed limit changes right here, either here or here. So either side of the road, just before we enter a roundabout. Or just as we exit. Oh, went a bit too far there, so let's just take it back a step. Or we'd get these speed limit signs as we exit. But you can see here there's no speed limit signs. There is these no stopping signs, or correction, if I zoom in a bit more, end of no stopping signs, there's no speed limit signs. So it's still national speed limit. But it is not 70 miles an hour, the speed limit has changed. The road we're now on is a single carriageway. So what we mean by a single carriageway there's one single bit of tarmac shared by the cars going this way and coming this way. So the speed limit is now 60 miles per hour. So the speed limit has dropped by 10 miles an hour, but there's been no sign to tell you that. You're expected to realise you're on a different type of road and national speed limit is lower on these single carriageways. The reason why the speed limit is lower on a single carriageway is because you share this bit of tarmac with oncoming vehicles, there's more risk. So these oncoming vehicles could potentially come to your side of the road and cause you a problem. On a dual carriageway, when you have that central reservation, that barrier in the middle, you're protected from the oncoming traffic. So there's less risk, therefore there's a higher speed limit. A final thing, you may be wondering why the national speed limit sign does not have a number on it. This is, as well as national speed limit being different on different types of roads, it's different for different types of vehicles, as shown in this chart here from the highway code. Taking care to notice that the speed limit on a motorway and a dual carriageway is exactly the same for cars. Some people think a motorway is a faster road than a dual carriageway. Legally, it's not. It's the same speed limit. Do also remember, when we say national speed limit, we're talking about these higher speeds, so 60 or 70 miles per hour. Some people think national speed limit means 30 miles per hour. That's not correct. 30 miles per hour is a restricted speed limit for a built-up area.